guys Monroe Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another weekly vlog first of all go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up and subscribe if you love fashion beauty lifestyle and travel videos and I also want to wish you all a happy holidays um, a Merry Christmas if you celebrate that um, this video should be going live the day after Christmas so I hope you all enjoyed your holiday we're back we're back here in Harlem New York City we're gonna be here until I close I am NOT going back to Miami until it's time for me to close on my house which will hopefully be in the next two three weeks so I just came on back to Harlem a lot of you are, are kind of new here I do have an apartment in Harlem I'm not getting rid of my apartment I'm keeping this apartment as well as buying a house in Miami so very happy to be back here in time for the holiday season I mean New York is just so cozy it's so festive during the holiday time very happy to be back and be amongst friends also i just want to say thank you to everyone who watched my last vlog last sunday which was a life update video it was the first time i've ever done a life update and i have really never been that vulnerable on a video um and so i was very nervous to actually publish that video i i, I thought for some reason i would just get a ton of backlash but you all were just so incredible i'm still getting amazing comments on that video just people encouraging me and uplifting me and praying for me and i can say that yes i did get my instagram account back so very happy about that i'm already over there posting again so if you're not following me give me a follow at monroe steel but very happy to have my account back it's looking like things are going to work out really well with um, my my closing date and my interest rates and so yes i was going through a very hard time but everything is looking up and i just really appreciate all of you for watching that video and taking the time out of your day to send me words of encouragement whether you dm me um wrote me a comment on my instagram or uh wrote a comment here thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you so much i took my braids out yesterday washed my hair put a little ponytail in and i'm feeling like myself I i'm gonna miss the braids for sure but i will probably get them again sometime in january but let me show you guys my outfit of the day i am wearing this two-piece set from my own collection with my girl sanji something by sanji maro still fall collection and these are still available super soft and cozy gray brushed cotton so it's really really soft it is a rib i'm wearing the size medium we do have size small to 3xl in this two-piece set it's perfect for the holidays especially if you live somewhere cold it's nice and super super cozy and i just paired it with uh, these fuzzy slippers that i got from amazon so i'll link this two-piece set down below if you guys are interested it's great for the holidays especially for january february march when it's still like pretty cold it's great to lounge around in in the house or even throw on you know a boot and wear it out to run errands and i'll link the fuzzy slippers down below too because a lot of you guys love these slippers and they're super affordable so today what we're doing is we're going shopping y'all know we got to get to it okay uh it's a few days until christmas i want to get a christmas tree um, i want to decorate this place out i had planned to do that if i was going to be in my new house in miami didn't work out that's fine we're gonna get into the holiday spirit here in my harlem apartment so i'm heading down to soho i have a package to pick up from chanel i want to stop in what goes around comes around which is a luxury um consignment store i want to go to bloomingdale's i want to go to Saks. i want to go to bergdorf's i want to go to louis vuitton i want to show you guys the windows i want to show you guys the tree so that's what we're doing today so i'm going to get myself together get myself ready show you my outfit of the day and then we are going to head to soho to do a ton of christmas shopping so Let's go. All right guys, so I got myself together. I put on this dress. It's an old sweater dress. It has this little wrap from And Other Stories. I got this last year. And Other Stories has such amazing like 
dresses for winter you guys know i love dresses and skirts and even in the winter time uh, living in new york city i still like to wear dresses so i put this one on i think this is not available anymore but i will link a few more sweater dresses that i love that are in the same like 50 dollars and under price point i want to pick a fragrance i think we're gonna go with prada soleil O Zenith. I bought this from the Prada store when Janae was here for New York Fashion Week and we did some shopping. If you guys haven't watched that vlog, you should watch it. But I love this because it's very deep, but now that I think about it, it does smell very festive, like almost Christmassy. Something about it, but it smells incredible. Gonna put on my Majuri necklace, figure out an earring. Um, and then I'll show you guys my entire look, which I think is pretty cute for me to just throw it together. I'll also link a few of my favorite major Majori pieces down below. This one's no longer available, but they still have like really incredible jewelry that is like dainty, very feminine and also affordable. And it lasts a long time. This nameplate necklace i can't remember where i got it from so a lot of people ask about this but i don't remember guys i want a very simple earring because i feel like my outfit is doing a lot so i haven't unpacked yet <laughs> you guys know i just got back from miami and i keep all of my jewelry in this gucci bag by the way this is the gucci globe trotter tote and it is absolutely incredible got it online i will link it down below if any of you are interested it's the best for travel all of my jewelry is in here and apparently a pair of sunglasses which i will be taking these as well since it decided to be an absolutely stunning day today in new york city like it's beautiful yeah it's only 40 degrees but can't have it all can you these are just basic hoop earrings and i believe these are from anna louisa which is another great affordable jewelry company all right let me show you guys my whole outfit get a bag and then we're gonna head first to chanel i just got a text message from my essay and she's waiting for me so i gotta go all right guys so here is the full look with this sweater dress that wraps to the side I paired it with my Stuart Weitzman knee-high flat boots that are green suede. You would have seen these in an unboxing, but I absolutely love them. They are flat. I'm going to be walking a lot today, so I wanted to pull these out and add like a little pop of color to this outfit. These are true to size, so if you're interested, I'll link them down below. I believe they are having a sale for the coat. We're going with my Frankie Shop oversized coat. This coat is very similar to a coat from Nasty Gal, which is like less than 30 bucks that I showed in a previous winter fashion haul. So if I can find this one, which was last season, I'll link it. Um, I'll also link the Nasty Gal, Gal version because that one is practically the same, but a lot more affordable. And then I'm just gonna wear my Louis Vuitton multi pochette and the green strap matches the boots. So I'll put it all on and show you the look. All right, love, so here's the full look. A lot of like nudes, grays, with pops of green, brown, and gold. So that's my outfit for today. Anything that's still available, I'll link. If it's not available, I will link similars. So let's go for a fun day of shopping.
good morning everyone welcome to day two of the vlog so i just want to give you guys a little recap of yesterday because it was such a fun day and i can't even lie i am happy to be <laughs> back in new york celebrating christmas here because really the christmas spirit is just here okay especially down on fifth avenue so yesterday i got myself together i was loving my fit by the way i got so many compliments on my outfit yesterday but my first stop was chanel i picked up a little something i always have a really good uh shopping experience at chanel my essay there is incredible after that i walked around soho i went into a few luxury consignment stores i went into what goes around comes around i also went into the real real mainly to check out the shoe section because they always have really amazing shoes there and bags as well where else did i go i went into summer everywhere y'all okay i believe i went into celine i went into dior i went into all of the major luxury stores in soho and then i went to mercer kitchen for a quick lunch and such a funny story while when i walked into mercer kitchen i saw chris rock like sitting alone eating and we made eye contact but you know i just kept it moving because anytime i see someone famous like i see famous people all the time especially when you live in new york and so i don't really make a huge deal out of it like i acknowledged him acknowledging me acknowledging him and then i just sat down and ate my lunch but i thought about sending him a drink because he was just sitting there like looking so lonely and then he was on the phone for like a little while as well but before i got a chance to send him a drink he paid his tab and he left but on his way out he like looked at me and smiled he was on the phone he like looked at me and smiled and then i smiled and then he threw me a head nod and then i threw him a head nod and then he kind of shook his head and kind of laughed and like walked out so that was funny at mercer kitchen i just ended up getting a burger and fries but i did get a really good bellini it was a raspberry leche bellini the best bellini i've ever had in my life it was delicious probably the best thing i had the burger and fries weren't that good next time i'll just go to my normal place and get the chicken what's that place called the dante the douglas y'all know what i'm talking about i've taken you guys there so many times so after that i will i also went to nespresso and bought a few new coffees i'll show you guys the new flavors i got in and then i headed to fifth avenue which was a mess you guys I really forgot how Fifth Avenue is at holiday time. They barricade the streets, they reduce the lanes um, because everyone is kind of walking up and down Fifth Avenue looking at all of the storefronts and such. It was just a traffic disaster. Next time I'll have a better plan for going down there. But I headed to Saks Fifth Avenue and right in front of Saks of course is Rockefeller Center where they have the Christmas tree and it was all lit up and everyone was out there taking photos and it just immediately got me into like the Christmas spirit. It was so beautiful. So I went into Saks. Well I checked out the windows at Saks of course. Saw a lot of, a lot of Christopher John Rogers which I am thrilled for him and all of his success. Went into Saks. I went into Louis Vuitton. I got a little something out of there. I checked out a few sunglasses. I bought a new pair of sunglasses. I went to the designer floor and checked out their sale. It was just such a buzzing with like, you know, holiday cheer. People are there buying all of their gifts and such. It was really, really nice experience there at Saks. And then after I left, I noticed that they started putting on their light show. So I stopped for a minute and I checked out their light show, which was so cool. I never even knew that Saks had a light show where they pretty much do like a light show um, on the building, on the Saks building to like holiday music. And it was really nice. So that was pretty much how I spent the day and how I ended the day. I bought something from Chanel. I bought something from Celine. I bought something from Louis Vuitton. And then I bought a few things from Nespresso. I am gonna show you all everything I bought in this vlog. <laughs> so you can see kind of what I got myself for Christmas. What I'm gonna do is get myself together, put on an outfit, put on some makeup, even though I don't know if I'm gonna go anywhere today, but I just wanna get myself together and then I will unbox everything for you all. I'm still waiting for one thing that's going to be delivered probably in the next hour or so. This morning, got myself up, watered my plants. You all have been asking about my plants. Am I taking my plants to Miami? The answer is no. 
all of my plants are staying here in Harlem. My big plants are all birds of paradise plants because I get asked more about my plants than I get asked about me. Y'all love those plants. My plants are doing well. My housekeeper takes care of my plants when I'm away. A lot of people are like, oh, don't post when you're gone, don't post. There's always someone at my house. And I also have an excellent <laughs> security camera alert system. Don't worry, you guys. Like, if I'm not here, someone else is here, always. So it's fine. But thank you uh, for, you know, looking out. But your girl got it, she got it. This set that I'm wearing is a three piece fuzzy knit. Well not, it's not a knit, it's just fuzzy, like sweatery three piece set from Nasty Gal. You guys, it is freezing. Okay, when I woke up this morning in my apartment, it is freezing. And it's because I have so many windows in my apartment, particularly in my living room, that it's just a little drafty and it is freezing. So I want it to be nice and cozy. So when I got up today, I put on this set. I'm not sure if it's still available at Nasty Guy, but Nasty Guy has the best loungewear sets, y'all. The best. So I will link a few of my favorites down below in the description box. If you like this one, I'll try and find this one and link it down below. Otherwise, I'm just gonna link a few of my three-piece and loungewear favorites from Nasty Gal. Super affordable. I believe this set, when I bought it, was like $20 for all three pieces together. And it's lasting me, because I had this last season too, y'all. I've had it for at least a year, so. Let me get myself together, and we will do an unboxing. But if you are enjoying the video thus far, if you have watched to this point, you might as well just give your girl a thumbs up. Go ahead and thumbs me up, subscribe, Click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. If you're watching from your TV, hit the up button. You'll see an icon of my face. Go over one, go over another one. You will see three dots. Click those three dots. Scroll on over to the thumbs up sign and give your girl a thumbs up. Yes, you can do it from your TV and I appreciate it. All right, guys, let me get myself together and then we're gonna do a what I got for Christmas unboxing. It's gonna be good. Y'all gonna wanna see what I got, so. All right, guys, so I got myself together. Watched a little bit of Emily in Paris. Definitely loving the fashions this season. Last season, the fashions were good, too. I'm gonna show you my outfit. I don't tend to wear a lot of all black, but more recently, I've been getting into black. I feel like it looks really nice and chic. So, for the makeup, wearing my new favorite Clinique Better Clinical something makeup foundation. I love their foundation. It's so good, it has SPF. I will link it down below. The lip is Fenty Unveil. The earrings are Carolina Herrera. They're super old and not very well made. <laughs> I would not suggest them. You probably can't find them anyway because they're super old. But of course, I will link a few of my favorite statement earrings down below if you like these. I will link a few of my faves. The sweater is from Lulu's. They also had them at ASOS like years ago. It's just an oversized sweater. It has an open back that crisscrosses. I'll pop up a photo here of me wearing it recently with some Margiela jeans. The skirt is just a black midi skirt in satin. Um, I believe I also got this from ASOS. So I just have this sweater tucked into a black satin midi skirt. You can find these anywhere. This one is from Lafayette 148, but they have them at ASOS, they have them at Stories. I'll link a few affordable ones. They also have them at Nasty Gal. And the boots are fringe boots that I got from the Altazura sample sale. If you've never been to a New York City sample sale, definitely watch that vlog. It has come to a sample sale with me in New York City and I bought these from the sample sale just to have like, you know, a different color other than black. But this is my outfit of the day. I'm gonna pop on a scent and then we are going to get into this unboxing. All right guys, I have so many fragrances now. I never thought I was a fragrance girl, but clearly I am, like, look at this. My new favorite combo if I'm mixing is the YSL Intense Libra. This smells so good. Every time I wear this, I get compliments. So loving that, I'll link this down below. And also I love mixing it with the Gucci Virgin Violet. These two together are stunning. Um, I can't even, 
explain how amazing these smell apart they are also really amazing the gucci is very powdery and light with a hint of violet and the ysl libra intense is just ugh. Uh, I can't even explain it, but it smells so like mysterious, very deep, kind of spicy, very warm, a very winter scent for sure. So I like to mix these two and it's just a beautiful mixture. So let's do that. I like to put the YSL on first as a base. Mm, that smells so good. And then just a few sprays of the Gucci on top and oh it smells so good y'all so good mm. match made in heaven i'll link both of these down below if you guys are interested all right so let's get into this unboxing by the way if you're interested in how i do this ponytail i've done so many tutorials on how to do this just search my titles for hair um, and you'll find it. I know what y'all are here for. Y'all wanna know what I got. So I'm excited to open all of these things as well. Let's get into it. All right, let's get all of these things here. So many goodies. This is like Christmas for me, you guys. All right, guys, so yesterday I did pop by Nespresso and I got some Nespresso pods. If you guys would've watched my holiday gifts for everyone, getting a Nespresso coffee maker cost you anywhere between 100 and 200 bucks. It's worth the money, especially if you're a coffee person. Well, they always come out with new flavors during the holidays. This is a new flavor, it is gingerbread. And I've already had one. Y'all can see like, I'm thirsty. Absolutely delicious. Perfect for the holidays, love this flavor. I also got hazelnut, which is my favorite. This is what the pods look like, but you should have seen them when I do like my little morning routine. They are recyclable. And they even give you a UPS recyclable bag to fill all of your empty pods in. And then literally UPS will pick them up and recycle them. So even better. I also got caramel cookie and of course chocolate. Is this the chocolate? No! She gave me the wrong one. No! I asked for chocolate and the chocolate ones are this color as well, but this is Bian Bianco Forte. And that's not what I wanted. I wanted chocolate. <laughs> and the chocolate one is my favorite one. Girl. Ugh. Anywho. Got some pods. This is literally what? 10, 20, 30, 40. 40 cups of coffee for $48. Like, you cannot beat it. Was it $48? $47. You cannot beat that, y'all. Like, ugh. I will link a few Nespresso machines that I'm loving down below. The Virtual Line and the Virtual Plus are my favorite. The kind of round one that I have here is the older version, but I prefer that one over the newer version. So, now that we got that out of the way, should we start with Chanel? No, no, no. We're going to start with what I got from Celine. If you have shopped Celine before, you already know what's in here. Okay, so I've actually been wanting these for a while. So when I went into Saks yesterday and, and tried them on, I knew that I wanted them. They come in this little case. If you haven't figured it out yet, they are sunglasses. Come in this leather pouch. And, oh, they're so beautiful. Look at them. They are very cool girl chic. They're almost like mini sunglasses, but oh, they are so stunning. What I love the most is that gorgeous, Celine and white 
on the side. So let's try them on. They are too good. They are perfect. Now I love them so much because they show off my eyebrows and I feel like my eyebrows are having a moment right now. And they're just so sleek. They sit on my nose perfectly. They're very kind of lightweight yet substantial. I'm digging this Celine. Oh, they are very kind of cool girl chic. Really perfect for winter, but also for summer. Oh, I love them. They retail for $350, which actually isn't bad for designer sunglasses. Gucci sunglasses, <laughs> like they start at $500. So to find a brand, especially like a, a house like Celine and their sunglasses are less than $500, it's kind of interesting, but I love them. And these are my new babes. Mm, they're giving, especially with my outfit, period. Boop. Love them. Okay, so that's what I got from Celine. I will link these down below. I do kind of have some Celine knockoffs that I got from and other stories. They're the black sunglasses that I wear all the time. They're $25. I've had them for years. They come in white, they come in tortoise, they come in black, and they're just incredible. So if you're looking for like an affordable dupe, I will link that down below. But these are, oh, uh, they're too good. They are too good. I love them. Okay, so that's the first thing I got. Next up, let's get into what I got from Louis Vuitton. Mm. So when I went shopping in the design district with my girl Janae of Hilo Lux during her birthday when she came down to Miami, we went to the design district and I went into the Louis Vuitton store for the first time and that's where I saw this. And I kind of have been thinking about it ever since, so I decided to go ahead and bite the bullet and get it. Oh my God, I should do a, I should do an Instagram unboxing for this. I should. I'm gonna be right back and then I'm gonna show y'all what's in the box. All right guys, so I did my unboxing, but I ended up getting something that came in this cool little dust bag. <laughs> it's actually a belt. It's kind of like a utility belt, but I'm absolutely enthralled with it. It comes with a coin purse that has a little, actually, is this just for show? Oh no, you can actually put something very tiny in there like AirPods. It unzips and it has space for you to put change, coins in there. It does have like a little key holder on it as well, which is great for me because I'm always just on the go and I'll just, like take my keys, which is not always that great, but. And then there's also this little pouch, which is super cute. It's big enough to put things in, like credit cards, a lipstick, a chapstick, super cute. And then it also has this gold buckle. I'm not sure if you can see, but all over the gold buckle, it has the Louis Vuitton symbol on it as well. And I rock my, uh, multi-pochette bag so much. I thought this would be a great addition to my wardrobe. This is the size uh, 80 in length and I could just see this elevating any outfit. Like I could literally wear this with the outfit I have on and it's just so cool. Different ways I can wear this. I can style this with Slip dresses, you guys know I wear a lot of those. Especially when I'm like back in Miami. This will be great if I don't want to carry like a bag. Ugh. It's giving. You guys see? I'm going to go ahead and pop this off. But, ah! I love it. So you guys can kind of see the look. It's great at like cinching in a look. You can also put this in your denim jeans. It'll take a while to like take this bag off and put it on where you want it. But you could definitely wear these with jeans, with dresses. You could wear it over your winter coat. You could wear this over 
trench coats and blazers and it'll just be so cute uh i'm absolutely in love with it i'm obsessed it's perfect and i love that you can kind of move things around you can move the buckle to the back if you don't want it to show i mean you could take things off you can leave things on if i want to take this off and only keep this on i could do that I mean, I could also, if I wanted to, wear it crossbody, which is really cool, almost like a utility belt. All right, loves. Now, the moment you've been waiting for, I know everybody wants to know what's in this Chanel bag. Well, I recently did a 2022 wish list video on it. I, I wanted something from Chanel. This is not that. <laughs> a couple of people who watch my Instagram stories saw that I was in Chanel and they were like, oh, you must have gotten this thing off your wish list. And I, and I just wanted to be like, no, I haven't gotten that yet. But if you want to know what that Chanel thing is, make sure to watch my latest vlog where I do my 2022 wish list, if you want to know what that is. But anywho, this I've kind of been wanting for a while and finally found it in my size. So went ahead to pick it up because i said in my size you know it's not a bag uh it's definitely shoes i think you know what it is because i have a few pair of these but these are so summery they're so fun and they are just perfect for the life i'm going to soon be living in miami so let's get into this all right guys y'all know what it is dad sandals i could not resist I wear my dad's sandals into the ground. All summer when I was here in New York City, I wore them. The whole time I was living in Miami at the top of 2021, I was wearing my dad's sandals. I have a tweed pair and I have a black pair, a black denim pair, and now I have these. Ah! I've been wanting a white pair. The good thing about it is this fabric is not leather so it won't get dirty so quickly i can literally just wipe it off you can probably see the tiny striations it's almost like rubber on the outside each pair of these were hand painted so you see like the little black line around the edge it looks almost like an etch-a-sketch which is really really cool i love that design the black and white does it for me the cc is actually like a black almost like not porcelain but it's a hard fabric. Usually these are like diamonds or rubies or gems. I absolutely love them. I got them in my normal size. Normally I'm a 41 in shoes, but these dad sandals, they run big. So I got these in a 40 and a half. Perfect. The bottom is white leather and it has the quilting, which I absolutely love. I just feel like these sandals are the perfect sandals for Miami and my life there when I'm just on the go, when I just need to even like boat shoes. I don't like boat shoes, but I'm on boats a lot. So these will work um, on boats as well. So they're just everything. I love the kind of basicness of them. Yeah, of course they are Velcro. Um, these are, I believe from the spring summer collection. Um, if you're in New York City, they do have a few of these in the Soho location. I tried to get these in Miami and I could not find them anywhere. Probably because Miami is a warm weather location so people are already buying these. I feel like New Yorkers or people in the Northeast where it's actually winter right now aren't thinking about buying these until next year and by then they will be gone. So if you like them, head over to the Chanel website, see if they're in your area. But if you're in New York, they're definitely in the Soho location. You can check them out. I love them. I know a lot of people hate them, but I love them. Like wait till I style these, even with this outfit, like of course not a sweater. Um, If I was wearing it with this skirt and maybe like a white tee and this, that's all I would need y'all, that's all I would need. So that's what I got from Chanel, love them. All right guys, so that is what I bought myself for Christmas. I also put in a huge order at Net-A-Porte Net and someplace else that I can't remember, but I will have another vlog coming on Wednesday and hopefully I'll have those things by then and I will include those in that vlog. 
Um, I also got in a ton of like PR holiday gifts and I will put that in the next vlog as well. Remember, I post a new video every Sunday and every Wednesday. So if you don't wanna miss anything, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Just check, take a moment right now just to make sure you are subscribed because sometimes you can get unsubscribed. But if you enjoyed today's video, please do give your girl a thumbs up. It helps. Subscribe and click the notification bell so that you never miss a video. I hope you all enjoyed holiday shopping with me on Fifth Avenue in New York City and also seeing what I got myself for Christmas. And I hope you all had a very happy holiday and I'm wishing you a very happy, very merry holiday as well as new, as well as new year and again thank you to everyone who continues to comment on my life update video things are looking up things are going well i'm in amazing health everything is going to work out with my interest rate um in my house and uh yeah i'm feeling very very happy with where i am in life so thank you all again for all of your love and all of your support happy holidays guys see you in the next one bye